this is Jill from the Northwoods. Welcome to The Bible in Small Steps, where we're going to explore the Bible one chapter at a time. Whether you're a long-term believer or just curious about the scriptures or someone like me who wants to do a deeper dive and understand the most important text ever written, that's what we're going to talk about. So three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're going to do a chapter per episode. We're going to start with the New Testament, go to the Old Testament, and then we will go on to the wisdom and the poetry books of the Bible. I wanted to have a cohesive story built together so that we can follow along with where we are in this message of God. And we're going to follow what I call the ramps system. Read, analyze, those are questions like, who wrote the book? When was it written? Who was the audience? What's the summary of what happened? And what's the historical context? Then meditate. What does this passage, this chapter mean to me? Do I have concerns about this chapter for myself, for other people? Or am I grateful for things? What are my takeaways that just overwhelms me with God's love and presence? Then share. And sharing will be with other people, but it also might be sharing with someone who has more knowledge, maybe a pastor, a priest, or someone who can help answer questions if a particular point is confusing. I'm not formally, theologically trained, but I'm a passionate seeker of truth. I love the Bible. I have stacks of books, and I use Logos software, and I have a lot of books inside of that. Someday I'll do a podcast episode in Small Steps with God that discusses what it can do. But a lot of resources when it comes to the original language, the historical background, what the meaning and over 548 different commentaries. I'm not going to use them all, but that way we can find out what's happening and what do most people believe is going on in this chapter. We're going to talk about the places, the people, so we have a better understanding. I started out planning on doing this for myself, and then I thought, hey, I'm a podcaster. Why not turn it into a podcast and see what perspectives other people have? You can write me emails at jill at the Bible in small steps. You can look at my website, check out the Notion database I created for this podcast, or download the templates so that you can follow along and fill them out for yourself. I will fill out for every episode the analyze section of the RAMPS method, and you can go deeper and do a little bit more, or stick with mine and fill out the rest. I hope to connect our daily lives, our prayer activities, our behaviors with what God expects from us in this world, and what we should be expecting from ourselves. Whether you're listening at home, at work, in a car, I hope that it will be short and concise enough that you will be able to enjoy it, but get a lot of details out of it. This podcast will be at a pace that you can truly do some digging on your own. I love the Bible in a Year podcast. I've done two of them this last year, but I wanted a slow crawl through the Bible so I could dig deeper, find out what things meant. With a Bible in a Year podcast, sometimes they go by so quickly, you don't have time to dig into something a little bit more. That's my goal for all of us. This will give you time to stay current and to learn more. And if we hit topics that require a little bit more attention, I'll do a separate podcast episode on Small Steps with God podcast feed. So join me in this journey of understanding, faith, and discovery. Please subscribe, and you can go to thebibleinsmallsteps.com which will also show you different ways you can connect to this podcast. I plan on doing the major places where you listen to podcasts. So let us embark on this great new adventure together. I'm excited to find out what we can learn by studying God's word. I look forward to sharing the joyful moments, the tearful moments, and the inspirational moments. That comes with reading the word of God. So I look forward to seeing you soon on this new adventure we're taking on.